Hello, everyone. It's your girl, Miracle Sins, and I'm super excited. <laughs> it is technically, okay, today is technically May the 15th, but um, I am unboxing something that is near and dear to my heart, okay, and technically I am launching a new brand. Once again, I got something else. Your girl is launching and unboxing. All right. So <clears throat> long story short, okay. Um, you all, I guess, don't know that I have been working on something for a few years now. Um, I've kind of had it on pause. And basically, very recently, actually back in April, um, I got the opportunity to not only create a custom show that'll be coming out next month, which is June, but um, by doing the show, I'm going to be launching the brand alongside of it. So you guys may be wondering what's going on. So <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. So long story short, y'all, here we go. Um, I have a lot of different passion projects and different things that I've been wanting to do throughout life, right? And um, one of those things is to create a shoe brand. Um, back in the day, I um, I actually, to, to kind of like fulfill that need or to scratch that itch, I used to represent a brand. It was a direct sales shoe brand. And it was cool, but at the same time, it, you know, took away from any creative input that I had, right? Um, because I just was representing a brand that was already established. Um, ultimately, uh, some years after that, I came across uh, this company, uh, this online company. They are called Alive Shoes. I'm sure y'all may be familiar with it. They've been out for some years at this point. Um, but I think they were just kind of launching when I first came across them. And I made me a profile and I started designing shoes on there. Um, the only thing about them, if I'm completely honest, they, if I would say there's a downside um, right now is that they have certain like models of shoes already. And then they, um, they control the pricing and whatnot. It's a company that's based in Italy. And um, basically you can design the shoes to a certain extent. You know, you can get to choose the colors, the fabrics, all this type of stuff. But, um, you know, you have to reach certain goals before you can actually create something fully custom, right? So because of that, those are some of the reasons I kind of put it to the side and just kind of was like designing in the background, but not really sharing any of the, any of the designs or anything like that. Well, fast forward to 2023, okay? Um, like I said, um, long story short, y'all know that I have my business Miracle Plays and a part of that, I create custom shows as well as, you know, perform mystery dinner shows and things of that nature. And so I had a client reach out to me and the client wanted to, uh, or wanted me to create a custom show. And ironically, the custom show was going to be kind of sneaker ball themed. So um, basically, I'm sharing this information with you all because as I started to put things together for the client, um, I knew that I would need a shoe that was worth stealing. <laughs> so um, I knew that either I was going to get online and do a um, you know, big search to find a unique shoe or a shoe that would look unique enough um, to go along with my storyline or Ultimately, I feel like God led me to remember that I have the ability to create the shoe. And so this is what I have right now in this box, y'all. I have the shoe that I created for the show. Um, the reason I'm pre-recording this is because I don't want to, you know, let the client or anyone know that um, what I've done thus far. But the very cool thing is that because I took out the time to design the shoe as well as purchase it and everything like that, to me, it only made sense to go ahead and launch the brand. So I'm doing both. Um, I am going to be, I created the shoe specifically for the show. Um, that is available for purchase. 
<laughs> so in case you're interested, y'all, Littlefoot.com. So y'all may be wondering the name Littlefoot. Y'all like, where, where did that come from? Well, long story short, my maternal grandfather, um, when I was a baby, used to call me Little Foot. Um, obviously, those that know me, y'all know that my feet are little. I'm actually a size five, okay? Um, so, yes, I still have little feet. <laughs> but, anywho, so that is where the name came from. Um, because on my mother's side, there's a few of my, you know, aunts and things like that. They called me Little Foot. I think Granddad probably could even called me No Feet at one point. <laughs> so, anywho, so I decided to name the shoe brand Little Foot which I'm actually going to use in the show. Um, the character that I'm going to portray in the show, her name is going to be Lil Foot, or I'm actually going to have, um, put like a little accent on it and have them call me Le Foot, Le Foot, you know? <laughs> so the character I'll be portraying is an artist named Le Foot. And um, just again, to play on the brand name. So anywho, um, as I'm unboxing this, y'all, uh, I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see. Let's make sure my hands. Some information y'all don't need to see on here. So um, it did come with this box here. <laughs> um, so yes, I'm getting ready to show you all. So basically, okay. So yes, the brand is called Little Foot. You guys can go there, littlefoot.com, and see the designs that are currently available. Um, again, this is my first time seeing the shoe in person. And again, this is the shoe that was created for the show specifically, all right? So first thing to notice is that the shoes or the box comes in wrapped up in, so it comes in a box and then it comes wrapped up, the box is actually wrapped up. Okay, so um, this first shoe that you guys are gonna see. Now, according to the design, it's supposed to be gold glitter, okay? With gold, um, with silver glitter laces okay and i actually named the shoe um after the client that booked the party because i wanted to do something in her honor one and then two i also wanted to just um you know remember that because of her is the reason that i went ahead and launched the brand so her name is nakia and so yes the shoe is named Nikia. So, first of all, you guys see Nikia by Miracle Sims. <laughs> and there's the logo, Little Foot. All right. And this technically is a little glimpse of the shoe. As you guys can see, I ordered a size six because unfortunately, this size six is the smallest size. But I don't care. I'm going to rock these shoes. This is the reason why I started to. Um, so, you guys are going to notice that most of the shoes on Little Foot right now are um, sneaker widgets. Um, I, the reason I went for sneaker wedges is because I'm like, you know what? I know that I could possibly pull off a size six sneaker wedge personally. <laughs> so that's why I started designing sneaker wedges. Um, so I'm excited about this. I mean, the box alone is very luxurious, you guys. So this is the image that is currently on the box. Ooh, very cool. A lady in gold. Um, and she's keeping a secret, which is so funny. Cause again, the whole mystery aspect. Um, another cool thing about Alive and whatnot, um, custom packaging and whatnot, and there is a magnetic, okay? So um, the brand is giving luxury, okay? <laughs> so again, I have no control over the prices or anything like that, y'all. And again, this is a handmade shoe from Italy. Can we just put that on the table? So y'all see the price is the price and everything like that. Okay, so this is my first time. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, let me say something before I show y'all. So, basically, again, I wanted to create a shoe that um, someone, like, if I put it on display as a work of art, that people would, like, ooh and ah at, and it would be, quote, unquote, worth stealing. Again, it's gold glitter. And this is the shoe. Oh, first of all, okay, first impressions is wow. <laughs> first impression is wow, okay. Um, so again, this party that I'm going to be doing is like a sneaker ball type of party. 
And I wanted to create a shoe that had that vibe where somebody could wear it to a sneaker ball. You could wear it to a prom. You know what I mean? Like you could wear, if you just want to stand out, you can wear this shoe. As you guys see, I, I chose a pure white sole, um, which is very interesting because the name Nakia means, um, oh, I hate it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like flabbergasted because I have them in my hands right now, y'all. This is crazy. Um, but okay, let me see. Um, the name Nakia, which I thought was just so fitting. This is another reason why I decided to name it for the client. Um, or to use her name, because when I looked up her name, it meant this right here. <laughs> I'm looking it up real quick for y'all. Pure and faithful. And I was like, to God be the glory. Yes. Um, so hopefully she'll be honored that the name uh, the shoe is named for her um, or after her or whatever the case is. Uh, I am just like, it's actually in my hands. Y'all don't know how long. Okay, first of all. Again, this shoe I did design um, just last month, right? And I designed it again for the show that I'm going to be doing in June. Um, technically, Little Foot, the brand, technically, I would say that the anniversary or launch would be April the 24th. So that's when I officially purchased this shoe, got it in production, okay? Um and once I put it into production that made it available or that makes it officially available for anybody to purchase. OK, so. Um, <laughs> y'all, I'm just like, OK, so y'all see the logo here. Little foot. All right. Um, here's another nice little touch. Um, OK, so you guys can see. OK, so I have a, a Velcro strap. You guys see the detail in regards to silver glittery strings. I'm going to be making some fun um, jokes throughout the night <laughs> or whatnot um, about like the details and whatnot. And like, oh, you know, the glitter or the, the glitter I made of actual gold, I, I crushed it. And same for the laces and everything like that. So on the inside of the tongue of the shoe, um, I have, you guys probably, I, I have to take this thing out so you guys can see. Oh man, this is so exciting. So again, this is a rather bold shoe, but again, I wanted to create a shoe that, um, again, that would give the illusion of, or be worth stealing, right? So, um, cause again, the storyline of the show is that some sneakers go missing. So um, they they lace these things pretty tight. <laughs> so uh, I might have to unlace these a little bit so I can show you guys. But basically on the inside, I have uh, the tongue. It says, life is too short to wear boring shoes. So they say that on the inside or whatever. Uh, but this is awesome. I think great craftsmanship, great work. Um, a live shoes y'all have outdone yourselves. This is technically my first shoe that I see in person. Um, it definitely is giving in the light and everything like that. And so that's was my intention. That was my goal. And I think when I display these shoes at the party, I think people will be in awe. <laughs> and that's the reason why I designed them this way. Because I wanted to create, again, a shoe worth stealing. <laughs> a shoe that would be like, people would see like the point of why someone would take this in the show. Um, now, yes, this is just another way of me bringing the show to life. You know what I mean? But it's, I don't, I mean, okay. So technically this is the first shoe of a little foot designs or a little foot brand. Um, there's actually another shoe that's coming out um, that I decided to go ahead and launch as well, a shoe that I designed years ago, um, which is actually a limited edition design because I, I bought the rights for it to be limited edition. Um, so here we go. Here is the left and the right. Okay. Like I said, it is a sneaker wedge. Okay. So... <laughs> Y'all, I'm just giddy. I am giddy. 
pure white souls. <sighs> this is going to be like so hard to not wear. Like I don't intend to wear them at least before the show. After the show, we'll see. We'll see because I don't know if they're just going to sit on display. But um, this is super exciting. Um, I'm excited to have received these. I'm excited. Like I said, I designed these specifically for the show. And I think they came out great. Again, the whole thing is glitter. Um, actually, there's like a gold leather on the inside. So that's really cool to see because I didn't know like what all, you know, when it came to that and whatnot. I'm very interested to try these on, honestly. I'm interested to try these on. Like, I know they are a size six, but they look like I might be able to wear them. I don't care. I'm wearing them. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> that, that's why I designed them to be sneaker wedges, because I know I could pull off a bigger or a larger size of sneaker wedges. If I had designed some heels and, and they were a size six and I'm trying to wear them, I would just look like a little girl trying to wear her mom's shoes. So, <laughs> um... That's why I started to design the sneaker wedges. I have many, many more designs, y'all. Y'all just don't know. These are just the first ones. And um, I'm so excited, you guys. So here's a take, take a look at the detail of this, the strings here. I don't know if y'all can see them in the light. Let me see. Here we go. I think that's a little better here. Like I said, they are silver glitter, the strings. And I, want, I just wanted something to contrast the gold. You know what I mean? So I think, I think that was a good choice. Um, again, the little note on the inside. Let's see if I can show y'all. These are super tight in regards to the way that they laced them. Let's go ahead and open them. You know, I don't want to do too much because, again, I am going to be using these for display for the show. But... Um, I'm going to have to show y'all different. I'm going to show it later. But anyway, so yes, I just wanted to unbox these. I wanted to announce to you all that I have officially launched Little Foot. And um, for Little Foot. Yeah, that's it, right? Because <laughs> I was sitting here thinking about New Foot is what I'm going to be saying in the show. But I officially launched Little Foot. And this is the reason why. Because I created this, these shoes for the show for Miss Nakia. And I named these shoes after Nakia. Um, I love that her name means pure and faithful. I believe God is being pure and faithful to me. And so it's just like a double meaning for me right now. This is super exciting. If you guys like the Nakia shoe, then by all means, go check it out. You guys can see yourself rocking this for your uh, sneaker ball, prom, wedding, whatever. They are available at littlefoot.com. Be on the lookout, more designs to come. Super excited, super excited, y'all, to see these in person. And um, shout out to Alive Shoes uh, for being the awesome resource that you guys are. You guys help a dream come to fruition. And I'm excited. I'm excited to see where the brand is going to go. And yeah, if y'all want to help me meet some goals and whatnot, so y'all can really truly see me create custom shoes from scratch. Um, cause if basically if I hit certain goals, then that'll unlock some different, um, things for me to be able to do as a designer with the live shoes. So I'm excited. I'm super excited. I can't wait to try these things. Oh, y'all. I mean, listen, these are cute. If nothing else, I mean, some people might think they're loud or gaudy or something like that, but, but people that, you know, you're into looking creative and looking different, um, if you're into standing out, if you're, you know, <sighs> I'm just so excited. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna let y'all go. <laughs> Don't be sitting here saying the same stuff over and over and over again. But um, yeah, y'all check me out. New brand launch, littlefoot.com. Y'all have a great day. And thanks again to Alive Shoes. And yeah. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye, 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 bye. I got to let y'all go because I'm going to just sit here and just grin and skin and just show y'all these shoes. Um, I'll see y'all next time for the technically the second shoe of Little Foot. And since you're watching this, I'll go ahead and give you guys some VIP information. The next shoe is called Black Girl Magic. See y'all soon. Bye.